Hi guys, let's continue our lesson of chapter number one, Molecules of Life, but focusing on lipids. These are the lesson objectives that you need to achieve at the end of this video. You need to be able to state the types of lipid. You need to be able to describe the structure of fatty acids and glycerols. And finally, you need to be able to explain the formation and breakdown of triglycerides. Lipids. Lipids are grouped together because they are insoluble in water. There are three types of lipids. These are triglycerides, phospholipids, and steroids. As you can see, triglycerides and phospholipids look very much similar. In triglycerides, one glycerol molecule is connected to three fatty acid side chains. However, in phospholipid, one glycerol molecule is only connected to two fatty acid side chains. The empty carbon within the glycerol molecule is connected to a phosphate group, giving phospholipid the appearance of having one head and two tails. This is why, when your teachers at school draw a phospholipid molecule, they draw it like this, with one head and two tails. And we know phospholipids are important component in a cell membrane. To recognize steroids, there are four profuse rings. One type of steroid differ from the other type of steroid based on the differing side chains that are attached to the rings. As required in the lesson objective, you need to be able to describe glycerol molecule and fatty acid molecule. So this is a glycerol molecule. It is a three carbon compound, as you can see, one, two, three, with an hydroxyl group or OH group attached to each carbon. These are examples of fatty acids. Fatty acid consists of a long hydrocarbon chain. As you can see, this is a long hydrocarbon chain containing carbon and hydrogen with a carboxyl group attached. As you can see, at one end of the hydrocarbon chain, there is one carboxyl group attached, C double bond O, OH. It is important to note that the long hydrocarbon chain within the fatty acid is nonpolar, thus causing triglycerides and phospholipids to become insoluble in water. As you might have noticed within the diagram, the absence of double bond in the hydrocarbon chain makes the fatty acid to be called as saturated fatty acid and vice versa. Now let's learn about the formation and breakdown of triglycerides. As we have mentioned before, Triglyceride is made up from the condensation between one glycerol molecule and three fatty acid molecules. These are the examples of triglycerides, butter and oil. Even though both are triglycerides, butter exists as solid at room temperature. Meanwhile, oil exists as liquid at room temperature. How do they differ? It is all dependent on the fatty acids that they are made up of. As we have learned earlier on, there are two types of fatty acids. It is either saturated fatty acid or unsaturated fatty acid. As you can see in this diagram, the presence of double bond within the hydrocarbon chain of the fatty acid causes the molecule to bend, therefore preventing tight packing. Since the molecules are unable to tightly pack with each other, they cannot become solid at room temperature. So therefore, they exist as liquid at room temperature. When drawing formation of triglycerides, first draw a molecule of glycerol. And then, you draw three molecules of fatty acid next to it. We know that fatty acid is made up of carboxyl group at one end and a long hydrocarbon chain at the other end. But how can we be sure 
How many carbon is there in the hydrocarbon chain? It could be a long chain. It could be a short chain. There could be the presence of double bond here or here. There is just too many unknowns. So therefore, we substitute the hydrocarbon chain with our group. So this is how you draw the three fatty acids. Triglycerides is formed via condensation reaction, meaning through removal of water molecules. Water is H2O. So we remove OH from the carboxyl group of fatty acid and H from the hydroxyl group of glycerol, thus producing three water molecules. Since we have removed OH and we have removed H, the only atom that is left is oxygen atom. So therefore, we directly connect this oxygen to this carbon, like this. The oxygen to the carbon, forming ester bonds. When trying to explain the formation of triglycerides, it is quite simple. Triglycerides is formed via condensation process. However, it is important to note here that it is not a true polymer. This is because it is not made from repeating monomers. Each of the hydroxyl group from the glycerol molecule will react with the carboxyl group of fatty acid and form ester bond. As you can see, it is the reaction between the hydroxyl group of glycerol and carboxyl group of the fatty acid. When these two functional groups react, it results in the formation of ester bonds. Three water molecules are produced as the result of this reaction. As for the breakdown of triglycerides, it requires a slightly more detailed explanation. Triglyceride is broken down via the process of hydrolysis. During this process, three water molecules are added to the three ester bonds which are present in the triglycerides. The hydroxide ion, OH-, from water attacks the carbonyl carbon of the ester bond, causing the triglycerides to split into two. This fragment and this fragment. One fragment will receive hydrogen ion from water molecule to form the hydroxyl group of the glycerol, OH here, here, and here, thus producing glycerol. The other fragment will receive hydroxide ion from water molecules to reform the carboxyl group in the fatty acid, like this. Please be sure to take some time to practice drawing the formation and breakdown of triglycerides and explaining how it all happens.